Environment Minister Stephen Guilbeault announcing a plan today to eventually completely phase out the sale of gas-powered vehicles in Ontario. Eric Fiano joins us live with the details on this. Hi there, Eric. Hi, Taz. Well, the federal government had previously announced that all new vehicles sold in the country must be zero emission by 2035. And in the announcement today, the government laid out its plans to get us to that point. Our government will not apologize for being confident in the role Canada can play in the cleaner economy of the 21st century. Minister Gil Bowe announced today automakers must now transition to zero emission vehicles. Fully 20% must be in 2026, rising slightly to 23% in 2027. However, by 2028, 34% of all new vehicles sold must be electric. Then 60% in 2030 and eventually 100% in 2035. People I spoke to today about the announcement say that they have mixed feelings about if it's actually possible. For me personally, I don't think it's an issue if it's readily available. This seems like it's good for the environment. I'm sure the electric ones are super expensive, but yeah. I mean, so are gas cars, right? They're, they're all expensive. I think it's a great thought in theory, but not in practicality. I don't think that it's a sustainable option. That it might be a good idea for, you know, the environment, but that's like way more expensive <laughs> for me. Auto expert Brendan Sweeney says the price of electric vehicles, which are generally higher than gas powered models, may fall as the years go by. And I think we also might see a point, you know, I, I predict this by the early 2030s, where not only do we reach price parity between electric vehicles and internal combustion engine vehicles, but we might actually see the price and the cost of electric vehicles dip a bit, partly because the internal combustion engine vehicles that are being produced for the market in North America are much are, are very large vehicles or our sports cars, our luxury vehicles. The Canada Research Chair in Environmental Impacts of Energy and Transport Technologies says if this 100% goal is met, it would have a significant impact on climate change and human health. They have a very substantial reduction uh, in greenhouse gas emissions, including if we think about the manufacturing of the vehicle and the battery, which, which definitely adds some environmental impacts, uh, but which you more than offset over, over the use phase. You also get uh, fairly substantial reductions in air, air pollutants, right? So there's the climate change question, but then there's also the human health question. I think it's a really important step. Is 100% absolutely possible? You know, is it possible? Sure. Is it probable? No. That said, you know, you're 15 years old, you come home with 85% on your report card. That's good news. Now, the federal government says that in the first three months of this year, around one in 10 vehicles that were registered were electric vehicles. Now, that being said, under 10% of vehicles that are on the road right now are zero emission. Back to you.